What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel and to Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. Today we're going to do a really quick guide regarding what emulators we have found that works for this new game and also a quick tutorial on how to link your account to a specific service so that you can play on multiple devices. In case you don't know what emulators are, I'm going to do a brief overview before we get into all the details. Alright, so first of all, what the heck is an emulator? Very briefly, it is a program that allows you to run Android apps on your computer. Why would you want to do this? Well, because a lot of mobile games are not available for the computer, and some of us prefer to play in the comfort of our desk with our mouse and keyboard, though emulators fill this role. Now, there's a bunch of different ones out there, but there's a couple that are, let's say, the preferred ones, the most popular ones. I would say the most popular one by far is called Bluestacks, and luckily, that's one of the ones that we have found that works really, really well with this game. It's actually what you're seeing on screen right now. Now, the specific Bluestacks version that I'm using is 5, the latest build, which is 5.13 something something. But even more specifically, I have found that Nougat 64-bit works the best. Now, 64-bit, you're going to have to do the game simply does not work on a 32-bit emulator. And I had a couple installed, including some Nougat versions, also some Pi. And I found the Pi to be super unreliable. For some reason, the game just plays like crap. It crashes constantly. While on Nougat, it's very stable. I've been playing a lot for the last two days, and I think I've had one crash. Another one that I heard from the community that works is LD Player. I have personally not tried it simply because I already use Bluestacks. It worked for me over here. I had no reason to go look for another one, but if you can't get it to work on Bluestacks for whatever reason, you can give LD Player a try. Obviously, it's going to have to be the 64-bit version. Now, the one that unfortunately doesn't work, which is maybe not that popular out there, but I personally love is Game Loop. This one is made by Tencent, directly one of the biggest gaming companies in the world, and it just runs incredibly smooth. I tried a whole bunch of different things, and you can't even get to download the game. One option might be to install an APK directly, which I haven't tested yet. I wanted to download it straight from the Google Store, so I'm settling for Bluestacks now, but I may do some more tests with GameLoop in the future. All right, now that we got that out of the way, how do you link your account to a service so that you can access it on multiple devices? For this game, it's actually pretty simple. You're gonna first wanna get through the tutorial, and remember, you can skip the long parts like the macro reactor. Once you reach this screen where you're free to move around the game, you're gonna come to these three bars here on the top right corner. Next up, you're gonna make sure that you have a player ID, and this is gonna happen automatically when you get to the point in the game when it asks you for your name. This is a throwaway account called Blandroli. This is the player ID somewhere behind me, and once we have this, we know that we have established some sort of account even though it's not linked to anything. The next step then is to link it and it says it plain and simple right here link data. This is going to take you to the Square website where you can check the terms and conditions if you're into that sort of thing or you could just accept them move on to the next step and choose which service you want to link it to. Now, as for me, preference, I would recommend choosing a major service. And no, I don't consider Facebook and Twitter major. Apple and Google are major. Remember, the emulator is Android only. So if you also have an Android phone, you're good, you're golden. Go in, log in with Google here. And when you go to do what I'm going to show you in a little bit to log in on your other device, you simply click on Google again and you're good. Your account is linked, your transfer, you can play on one or the other and all of your progress syncs. Now, if you have an Apple phone, things get a little bit trickier because the OS for emulators is Android. There are sometimes compatibility issues. For example, uh, I don't know if you know Dragon Ball Legends. It's a mobile game. You cannot transfer your account from Android to Apple without losing your special currency. It's called crystals or chrono crystals, something like that. My son plays it. So keep this in mind. If you have an Apple phone, I do not recommend linking with Apple here. Even if you link it, the operating system that you're going to be playing on on the emulator is Android. If that is the case, then you are much better off creating a Square Enix account. This is independent of whatever OS, uh, Android, Apple, whatever it is, it's simply going to be straight with the game developer publisher, which is Square. In a lot of cases, this option is really good because it doesn't matter what happened to any of the other services. If the game is made by Square and the game is still operational, then it's very likely that you're going to be able to keep using a Square account. Now, at the beginning, I mentioned that Facebook and Twitter, I don't consider them major services, but I'll explain why. It happened to us in my other game, the one that we cover in the Spanish channel, that at some point, Facebook was like, you know, I don't want to allow you guys to log in with Facebook anymore. Uh, ton of people got locked out of the game, but fortunately there was a way to recover the account by going to the publisher. In this case, it's Square. In that case, it was some other company. You went to the website, you logged in with your Facebook, and then you linked your current, ex 
existing account with the game publisher system. That allowed those Facebook users to get back into the game, but there's a lot of people that still never heard about the solution and lost their account. So I insist again that you use a major service like Google if you're going to be playing on an emulator and on an Android phone. Now, if you're only linking your account for the purposes of backing up, right, in case your device explodes, your account is linked to something, you are not going to be playing on an Android emulator, you're just going to be playing on your Apple phone, then you're good to link with Apple. Just keep that in mind. If you ever do want to play in an emulator, which is an Android system, there may be some incompatibility issues. The purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use Google. So I'm going to click on Google. This is going to bring up whatever Google account you're logged into on this device. I'm going to say continue as Andy. It again asks you for the account. Don't ask me why. So you click on it one more time and then it asks you some basic questions. So these are questions uh, for Square Enix just to know who you are, where you come from, a little bit about yourself. I'm going to insert here any sort of random birthday as this is not really my account. I'm going to say, I'm gonna cut, but, you know, take some years off. I'm going to say 1989. My username is for sure not Kaldisla Honey Hunter. Landroli, I think. No, I don't want you to send me anything. Yes, I accept your terms and I say join. Registration complete. Voila. And now this account that we created when we started the game has been linked to this Google account. Now, if we head back to the game and we click on link data one more time, we are already logged in. So it's going to give us some different options such as change your account and remove account. Don't mess with these now unless you need to. This takes care of linking your account to a service so that you have some sort of backup. Now, if you wanted to go play the game on another device, let's say you did this whole process on an emulator like I just did, and you want to have the same account on your phone, you would download the game on your phone, go through all of the downloads and setup process. Now, as soon as you get to this intro screen, before you even have to do all of the additional downloads or start tutorials or anything like that, you can already go and retrieve the linked account that you created on your other device. So you're going to go through the three bars here in the top. You're going to say link data, and we're going to go through a very similar process to what we just did. We're going to click on Square Enix members. We're going to remind this thing that we logged in with Google. We're going to select the same Google account that we used on the other device, and there's going to be a quick confirmation of what we're transferring. Now, I didn't have any purchase currency. I didn't have any free currency. That was a throwaway account I did just for demonstration, but I'm going to hit proceed with transfer. Your data has been transferred successfully. You may now return to the game. And so when we go back to this intro screen and I hit tap to start, I'm probably going to have to do some downloads. I'll cut that if that's the case. Yes, of course there's downloads. But once we finally get through the download and all of the welcome screens, we should be able to check again here under the three bars in our profile and see that our beautiful Blandroli account is safe and sound. We are now logged in in a separate device. Any progress that we make on this device is going to sync when we open again the game on the other one but obviously you can't play on both at the same time. And that's going to conclude our little tutorial. I hope you find it useful. I saw the question of friends asked me. I saw a bunch of questions on the channel. I figured this was information that could benefit everyone while we still get accustomed to the game mechanics and we start making that content specific guide. You guys enjoy the rest of your Friday and have a wonderful weekend. If you haven't already, please remember to hit like, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.